Okay, boys and girls, we have done our directed drawing, and as you can see, I have finished mine up. It's right here. I have also um, labeled the head, thorax, abdomen, six legs, two antenna, and compound eyes. My granddaughter, Grace, she made, um, after reading our book, um, Thunder Underground, she made a little ant hill, and the ants are coming out from underground and getting the food from a picnic and taking it back down to their um, families. So that was kind of a fun activity. So I told you that we were going to read a poem about ants, and then I was going to ask you to write something about that poem. So this is our poem. I'm gonna put it up right here. And it's called Ants. And I have actually highlighted the rhyming words. This is a rhyming poem. So let's read it together. If I were as small as a little black ant, I would do things that big people can't. I would sit on a leaf, take a bath on a rose, ride on a bee and tickle its nose. I'd walk under a duck, lead a big ant parade and sleep in a web that a spider has made. If you were as small as a little black ant, what would you do that big people can't? So here's our rhyming words, ant and can't. And again at the end, ant and can't. Rose and nose and parade and maid. Boys and girls, would you read this poem two more times to someone in your family? And when you're done, I would like you to write down what you would do if you were as small as an ant, what would you do that big people can't? So it has to be something that a big person wouldn't be able to do that you could only do it if you were as small as an ant, okay? So this is what I wrote. I wrote that I would like to ride on a lily pad in a pond. You know Mrs. Bennett loves the water. But I thought the ocean might be too um, too strong for an ant. It might drown an ant. But if I could ride on a little lily pad across a pond, I think that that would be so fun if I were as small as a little black ant. So would you please write something that you would do if you were as small as a little black ant? I have such a fun story about an ant for you to listen to tomorrow. I can't wait for you to hear it. It's one of my favorites. See you then. Bye.